Ladies and gentlemen, since Levi Gotham Chess will be out of commission for two or three months and won't be posting new videos, um, hopefully you will be checking out my videos and enjoying some of them. Um, I'm a, about an 800 player, uh, just got heavily into chess a couple months ago and climbed from 500 to 900 really rapidly and then uh, have run into a rough spot and been plummeting and it's extremely frustrating because I've been ahead in many, 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 many of the games and threw them away. But um, I posted one about playing the 1600 bot on chess.com, Isabel, and having her beat. Um, I thought I had cleared the Antonio bot, uh, the 1500, without any help, but I hadn't yet, actually. I thought I had. Um, and Antonio is from Paraguay, and he prides himself on being a balanced player. He doesn't win every game, but don't expect to beat him without a fight. So I played him quite a few times yesterday and finally beat him quickly. Um, so let me show you how. With the black, too. Uh, did a Carol Con diff defense. Brought out the bishop. Avoided getting locked in. When he threatened, so I just completed this pawn triangle. Um, yeah, the, the bots will... Um, the bots like to lock you in and also to prevent you from castling. The 1500 and 1600 ones, definitely. So he, uh, they went for the exchange, and I went and did that. They love to destroy your pawn structure, too. Um, so here I did bring the knight out this way because this was threatened. I mean, that, that square is not available. Bishop uh, didn't really have any. It had that square and that square. Uh, that knight to there. I tried to lay castling against these bots as well because when you castle, they really go after you. Um, so I'm already behind, probably because of the pawn structure. So here, let's see. Yeah, here I didn't really have a move. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could have done that. Oh. I guess I could have done that. Um, Sorry, this wasn't the best game, but I did win it. Um, yeah, here I didn't really like much of my moves, so I went ahead and... I started getting a little more like um, YOLOing with Antonio um, to try to beat him, I guess you could say. Thinking, well, maybe I have to mix it up and try to confuse him or just sort of go a little more reckless. Anyway, so brought that out to... Uh, offer an exchange there of the knight. He brought his bishop into this file. I mean his rook, excuse me. Pointing at my king behind there, obviously. So I brought the queen to there. They're suggesting bring the queen out to uh, h5. He withdrew the knight because he's trying to, I think, pin me. Um, so I went ahead and long castle. He brought the, the bishop to threaten my queen. I withdrew the queen onto this diagonal, which is actually a nice one, pointing at the... And that pawn's unprotected. Uh, pointing at the king. Protected the pawn. Brought the knight out here to threaten the bishop. So I feel like, I mean, I'm playing this decently. This is the concern here. Um, that I mean, that's protected, but... Um, you know, even though it shows that advantage, I mean, it's not that bad. This is the open file is probably the main concern, I would say. Brought the bishop down to threaten my rook. They're extremely good at doing that. I protect with that. Um, this is offering another exchange. Uh, there really wasn't a, a great move here. I mean, because this is a capture. Um, let me see if there was another move. Yeah, I, I mean, this, this knight to here, I guess, sacrifice there would have been another one. So that gave him a, a big advantage, according to them. I think Antonio, um, what's the word? He got tunnel visioned. So he 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 came down and took the, the knight. That was a you know loss of a piece um, with the setup. So let me see. Would that have been a better exchange to do it? Um, sorry, I okay. Take, 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 take. I mean, no. Either way, the bishop would have. Uh, I'm sorry. If I go back. When he moved here, 
No, that was a better play. So I blundered that. So uh, he ended up capturing a knight. I brought the rook over this way to threaten. And it's a little debatable. Maybe I should have done that way. But anyway. So he starts sweeping my pawns. I bring that rook out, sort of protecting that pawn. He brings the queen, but the queen can't take anything right here. That was a blunder, uh, according to this. Uh, so now the computer is suggesting that I go up and take this. I don't know why I would. Why would it say take that if that can be captured? Why would it say? I'm sorry. I, I just woke up this morning. I'm confused, but. Uh, either way, uh, I went ahead and moved this out, threatening the rook now. He took the pawn. Now here, here I do remember, I was looking at this rook going, hmm, what can I do here? Can't go there. I can go there. Can't go there. I can go there. Can't go there. I, I, was, I saw this, I believe as early as here. I saw that he wasn't protected. Now this can come back to here. But it doesn't hit that square. Sorry if I'm not using the, the, the tile names. Obviously the rook can shoot to e1, but the queen is his queen is on light square, so it's coming back to d uh, d1. Um, and then I think I did see that, and then th this is blocking this. So um, so when he took, I, I started moving this up, and I, I didn't see many safe squares. But that of course hangs this rook. I mean, that hangs this night. And I knew I was losing here. I mean, you can see that I'm, I was down a, pee, a full piece and a pawn. Or two pawns. So it was YOLOing. Um, so I lined up the rooks. It was like a last-ditch effort, I think. Um, and he, he, he got tunnel-visioned. He, he, he ignored it. I mean, uh, the, he missed it. He was, uh, I think, going after, obsessed about checkmating me or just had a blind spot um, because I had calculated that knight takes and that is a back row uh, mate. So got him in 22 moves. I mean, it is what it is. You know, um, maybe, uh, maybe 1,500 players would blunder that at times or miss that. I don't know, but there it is for you. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks. Have a good one. Thanks for subscribing, liking, commenting. Appreciate it.